Hello everyone. Let's talk today about two concepts that frequently get confused. Business analysis and business analytics. What is the difference? Because there is a difference that you should understand. These are two different disciplines. The reason they get confused is probably because their names sound quite similar. Business and business. Analysis and analytics. I will explain uh, in plain terms to you what the differences are. I teach both business analysis and business analytics. And in this video, I will try to give you both differences and where they overlap. First of all, let's go to definitions. What is business analysis? Business analysis is a practice of understanding, analyzing and enabling enterprise change. Business analytics is about using data to generate analytical insights that help business stakeholders make better decisions. Of course, there is an overlap. Both of these disciplines have to do with solving business problems, often relying on data and technology, but the scope is different. For example, let's start with business analysis. The main outcomes of business analysis activities are defined and analyzed business requirements, requirements for a new change and shared understanding of those requirements among all stakeholders. Business requirements define the need for a variety of solutions to business problem. If you think about a typical uh, business problem that a business analyst might have to deal with, a solution to that could involve developing a new computer application or making changes to an existing application. It could involve changing business process, changing to organizational structure or roles within. It could be design of new products, changing a service model, or decision to stop a certain business practice if it's no longer providing a return on investment. Most of the time, solutions to business problems that business analysts deal with are a combination of these multiple things I mentioned, changes to software, organizations, roles, processes, products, and even physical environments. Business analytics, on the other hand, focuses on finding solutions to business problems through using data. By discovering important insights in data, they can help those stakeholders choose a better course of action which usually leads to making better business decisions. Other overlaps? Of course, business analysis can definitely use business analytic methods, for example. If you are analyzing uh, the business problem, you try to understand the root cause of the problem, using data for analysis is a huge, huge advantage. You can use data to identify root cause or root causes of the problem find out where exactly those problems are. For example, you can use data and data analytics methods to find process bottlenecks. Where does the process slow down? You can use data and analyze it to um, understand customer experience and what consumers want better. For example, you can use results of the survey or monitor a browsing behavior or purchasing behavior of your customers to better understand their needs, what they like and what they don't like. Or you can use uh, comments of and re product reviews to do some sentiment analysis. And that again can help you better understand what uh, products are working well, what products need to perhaps to be redesigned, what services are not working well. So all of this data analysis can contribute to analysis of your business problem. Especially descriptive and diagnostic analytics can and should be used to support business analysis activities. So that's one aspect. You can use data analysis to understand current state. The other aspect is that Business analytics can be part of the solution. For example, during uh, business analysis activities, we define solution requirements, the desired future state. What do we need to solve this problem? It could involve, as we said, software changes, business process changes, organizational changes, and frequently it also involves new analytics or changes to current analytic solutions to better support the overall change. So in that sense, analytics, solutions 
can be part of an overall solution for which business analysts define requirements. Now let's think of business analytics. How is business analysis related? Business analytics can only be successful if we truly understand what problem needs to be solved, what are the requirements, what are the purposes of analytics. So if someone wants to design a new predictive model or new prescriptive analytics, we can use business analysis skills to first understand business requirements, to understand what are the all the parts of the problem that needs to be solved using analytics. Let's try to focus more on overlaps and differences. And to do that, what we can use is recount and consider different activities, business analysis activities on one hand and types of analytics on another hand. So let's go back to business analysis. What are the different activities that a business analyst may perform on the project, for example? You may be doing research and artifact analysis. So uh, that type of activity helps you understand better what is the business model, what is the organizational structure, what are the current business rules, what is the background of the project that you're going to be working on, and what is the current state of this problem that you are supposed to solve. So that could involve analysis of documentation, looking at reports, reading uh, executive summaries, speaking and interviewing your stakeholders. Uh, research and artifact analysis all usually precedes process analysis, so trying to understand current processes. Uh, what is a process inventory? What are the different processes when they start, when they end? How are they triggered? What are the different process flows? Capturing those process flows and then understanding the gaps. What are potentially problematic areas in your business processes that need to be solved? Scenario analysis is another example of a BA activity, looking at possible scenarios that can develop and do they need re different treatment, which of these scenarios are more frequent, which of these scenarios again may require changes. Root cause analysis, understanding the reasons behind business challenges, is it uh, people, process, product, data or technology, or sometimes a combination of the above reasons. Uh, part of business analysis activity is uh, having uh, facilitating and organizing requirements workshops where you interview different stakeholders to understand their problems, their pain points, their perspectives, because uh, usually business analysis needs to gather all of these perspectives together to uh, truly define what is what needs to happen next and what solution is required. Business analysis includes capturing documenting requirements, either in requirements documentation or in user stories, capturing acceptance criteria, supporting quality assurance analysis, and so on. By the way, if you want to learn more about what business analysts do, I have a whole series of articles as well as video shorts on my YouTube channel where I cover a broad range of business analysis activities. Now let's think of analytics. A business analytics as an area requires also a gathering and analysis of requirements and then designing analytics solutions. So think about different analytics solutions that may be involved. Uh, you may be doing some descriptive analytics, which means you are gathering and collecting and summarizing data from multiple sources digesting them and presenting them in a way that is easy to understand for your stakeholders. For example, descriptive analytics would produce reports and dashboards that business users can refer to to monitor what is happening and to manage their day-to-day -day operations or the management type of reporting that could be used to make business decisions. Uh, analytics involves diagnostics. So doing some correlation analysis, trending analysis, customer segmentation, analyzing various factors to try to understand which of those factors may be influencing the outcomes. For example, why are customers leaving? Why this product is more popular than this one? 
or what particular aspect of this manufacturing line may be contributing most to generating defective parts. So a lot of this diagnostic analysis is done using data, statistical modeling, hypothesis testing, and various methods of diagnostic analytics. Analytics can also involve prediction, building predictive models, building machine learning models that would use uh, large amounts of data to try and identify patterns that can then be used to try and predict uh, the future. For example, which uh, groups of customers are most likely to be interested in this product? And that could become the foundation of developing, say, a recommendation engine for an e-commerce portal. So these are the differences in terms of what do you do as a business analyst or what do you do when you're involved in business analytics. So truly in business analytics, we talk about full life cycle of developing a solution, starting with requirements, designing, uh, looking for data, designing your uh, models, for example, predictive models, developing them, testing them, and then deploying them and giving them back to your business users to use. Let's talk now about people and roles. In organizations, you can have business analyst role, or you could have other roles in the company where their responsibilities involve business analysis. Uh, these people can work as part of project management office. They can work in business groups and be a business analyst dedicated to business groups. There could be a dedicated business analysis team or a, a BA business analyst could be part of an IT organization. Some organizations don't have dedicated business analysts, but they will have operations experts or they will have business experts that act as business analysts on projects. Those are the people that know business processes really well and they truly do the work of a business analyst without necessarily having the title. To become a business analyst or to be involved in business analysis, uh, often people come from different backgrounds. May, they may have studied general business disciplines or they may be the expert in their industry. And often you become a business analyst by taking business analysis training, by taking courses. Those courses may involve understanding general business analysis process, various software development methodologies techniques um, and tools of business analysis, such as strategic analysis, process analysis, data analysis, scenario analysis. You may be learning how to do business model, how to create different diagrams, how to analyze processes, how to analyze needs of different stakeholders. These courses may involve other skills such as meeting facilitation because analysts organize and facilitate various meetings. Your uh, work of a business analyst also involves documentation, capturing business requirements documents, capturing user stories in the backlog, and so on. Analytics, let's talk about analytics. What are the uh, typical roles involved in business analytics? In many companies, you will encounter a business intelligence department or reporting group or analytics department or even data warehousing team. The names can differ, but the roles on those projects could sound like a business intelligence developer, analytics developer, data analyst, data scientist, and so on. So to be, be part of this group, often you might study data analysis, math, statistics, SQL, which is structured query language, um, data management. You will learn how to access and query databases, how to do perhaps some coding and scripting for more advanced analytics, um, data warehousing, integration, various integration tools. You're going to use analytics tools. You're going to use data exploration, visualization, and dashboard design tools as part of your work. So uh, as we're moving on to tools, consider it uh, in business analytics uh, role, you're going to be using more technical tools, database management and SQL um, tools, BI platforms, visualization tools, data exploration advanced Excel features and other spreadsheet uh, tools, data preparation tools, etc. As a business analyst, uh, you're going to be more focused on uh, tools that help you to capture and analyze requirements. To capture business requirements, you may use anything from 
process what processing software to SDLC tools such as Jira or Azure DevOps, which I used uh, for full software development lifecycle. You probably be using uh, graphical tools, uh, business modeling tools to create business models and diagrams. You may be creating uh, spreadsheets such as Excel to create matrices, to create uh, various tables or to analyze data as a supporting activity for your business analysis. So a lot of these are more office productivity tools. Um, you may be using prototyping and wireframing tools if you're creating prototypes for visual interfaces. And one of the most important um, tools that you will be using is organizing people into meetings and workshops, facilitating those workshops. So things like web conferencing, whiteboards and markers, etc. Those are the tools that help to support, manage and lead discussions because managing and leading people, bringing about useful discussions is a huge part of a business analyst job. So, of course, there will be overlaps. Some business analysts can be quite skilled in SQL and they may be doing a lot of their own database querying to help them with their analysis. Uh, some business intelligence developers or analytics developers or data analysts could have really good business analysis skills and they may be discussing business needs with their stakeholders directly instead of using a business analyst help for that. There will be a lot of overlaps. However, you have to be very clear about these two different areas. They sound similar. They are uh, quite related but you do need different tools and different skills and you're going to have different accountabilities in an organization. If you want to learn more, check out my course Data Management and Analytics Fundamentals, as well as my course Business Analysis for Professionals Changing Careers, and that will help you to um, explore each of these areas more, understand them more, and perhaps be a professional that is pretty skilled in both areas.